him in all, in front of everyone. Poor lad didn't know where to put himself. What'd you go and do that for? I'd have done the same if it were any of you lot. You don't honestly think that he's after Russ? Of course he isn't. You know why? Because he's not like that. But you don't know him that well, do you, Mum? He thought he was straight before it all went off. Yeah. Well, he'd have to have a death wish to go after your fella. Stop having a go at me. I warned him off. Big deal. One thing I know about our John Paul, he wouldn't dump on his own doorstep. Thought he already had. Meaning? You know exactly what I mean, Mum. Our kill still got a show face at school. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I can't believe you're being like this. Even Mum's okay with it. Yeah. I've never had a problem with Mary's me. Teen, I'm just being honest, that's all. Well, don't be. It's hard enough for him as it is. <laughs> and it ain't gonna get any easier. He's gonna take flack for this for the rest of his life. Yeah. But not from any of us. I don't care if he's gay, straight, half rice, half chips. He's your brother. And you back him up. All right. Right, well, get up there and tell him. You are? Well, it's the least you can do after last night. Never been so ashamed in all my life. You were ashamed of me? Yeah, I was. You ruined our night out. I was having a right scream in there until you turned all nasty. <laughs> well, I won't bother coming next time, then. Good! Why don't you tell him you're sorry? Because I've got no to be sorry for. Always showering her mouth off. You know she doesn't really mean it. Oh, yeah. It's just that sorry isn't in her vocabulary. She thinks it'll make her look soft. And what about what I look like? She made a right show of me last night. She made a show of herself, no one else. And what about Russ? I mean, no wonder he legged it out so early. Look, everyone else is on your side. We all know Mercedes can be a bit of a feud queen. She thinks I'm a freak. Well, you're not. You're just a little bit different, that's all. I've always felt like a bit of an alien. I wish Mercedes was more like you. <laughs> Do you remember what you used to be like after school? When all the other kids would go off snogging behind the flats and you'd be at chess club. Those flats used to smell a wee. And you got chocolate biscuits at chess club. You chirped up a bit yet? You can't blame him for being upset. No, I just want you two to sort it out, that's all. Tell her then. I will. Uh, listen, I'm going to get your favourite lunch in and then we can sit down like civilised human beings and sort it all out. Sort what out exactly? You, you can't cure homophobia with a cheese and onion pasty. You're too touchy, that's your trouble. Well, maybe that's because I'm queer. Oh, pack it in. I'm sorry, but there is no way I am sitting down there with her when I know how she feels about me. Well, she's your sister, so you'll have to, love. What are you going to do? Sit up here all day, moping? Just... Oh, just get out, will you? You what? You can stick your special lunch, all right? There is no way I am sitting down there with that cow, okay? See, what did I tell you? His tummy's bigger than his temper. Did you get us a chocolate eclair? Well, I'm hardly going to forget. This was meant to cheer you up. I know, I know. It's, it's all really nice. But what? I'm gay. I'm not caring the community. <laughs> well, you know what? You could have fooled me the way you've been acting lately. Oh, this looks very cosy. Hey, where have you been, madam? Was that ice bun for me? Why don't you spray your scent on it? You like to mark your territory, don't you, Mercy? Stop it. Yeah. When there's people around that you can't trust. Wind your neck in. Why don't you just say sorry for the other night? Tell them you didn't mean that poison you spouted. Dinner? See? Told you. She meant every word. She might as well just forget about all this. Oh. You're not storming out of here again. No skin off my nose. Why are you so stubborn? Just sit down and have your dinner. You're giving me indigestion. How do you think I feel, eh? My own sister can't stand the sight of me. Is that what you think? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, if I hate you that much, answer me this. Why have I spent all morning traipsing around for these? Dolly Parton! Oh, no. I'll kill her. Is this supposed to be funny? <laughs> you are. Have you ever heard me listening to Jolene? I haven't. Yeah, exactly. That's because I hate Dolly Parton. I just thought... You thought, thought what? What? That all gays were into her? <laughs> just about sums you up, doesn't it? And what is that supposed to mean? You're a narrow-minded bigot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wh wh where'd you blag these from, anyway? I didn't blag them from anywhere. Jack lent me the money and I queued two hours in town for them. <laughs> I thought you'd be pleased. Seriously? I swear. This is supposed to be some sort of an apology. Call it what you want.
Mercy, you could have just said, I'm sorry. What's the point? I mean, it's not like you mean it, is it? Look, I know I said some horrible things, all right? I don't think that you're a freak. You sure? I just hate... Queers? I just don't want my little brother to be one. Do you not want me to be happy? Yeah, but I don't think that you will be. That's why I'm trying to put you off. Mercy, you're talking like I've got a say in the matter. Like, like I just woke up one day and decided, oh, I'm going to fancy boys. I don't know how it works, do I? John Paul, I'm just worried about you. I don't want you to be different. I'm still the same person, you dozy cow. I still like football. I still like... House music. I don't like Liza Minnelli. Dolly Parton. No, <laughs> I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's hundred quid down, Pam. He's always giving to Mum. <sighs> you bog off. Whacking these on eBay. Are we all right? I, it's not what I'd call an apology, but I suppose it's the best I'm going to get, isn't it? Hey. Ha, 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 ha.